The game that we will be playing today is called Game of Quads. In this game, we will be looking to find as many property cards as possible that fit every quadrilateral card randomly selected. We will be using property cards and quadrilateral cards. The objective of the game is to find at least three property cards that match with its quadrilateral. You play a property card when the property on the card matches the type of quadrilateral flipped over. Note that in the property cards, you can use a wild card. If you use a wild card, you must state the property the wild card represents. Get the set of quadrilateral cards and place them in the center of the playing surface face down. The youngest player deal each player six property cards and stacks the rest of the property cards face down in the center of the playing surface. The dealer also flips over the top quadrilateral card. All players play simultaneously. Look at the property cards in your hand. Pull out as many property cards as possible that fit every quadrilateral of the card flipped over. Place these property cards face down on the table. When each player is satisfied that they have found all property cards that fit the quadrilateral, the dealer tells players to flip over the cards they have found. In turn, share property cards you flipped over and explain why each one matches the quadrilateral. If the other players agree with your chosen properties, you earn a point for each correct property card. If any player disagrees with a property card, the player can steal the point by explaining why the card does not fit the category. Record your points and move all the cards that have been played to a discard pile. Use the deck of property cards to refill your hand so you always have 6 cards. Turn over a new quadrilateral card and play another round. Play continues until all the quadrilateral cards have been played. At the end of the game, add up all your points. The player with the most points wins. Another way to play the game is using the quadrilateral shape cards. Here are some questions to ask students. Which quadrilaterals share the same properties? Which quadrilaterals are not parallelograms? How do you know?